I have a feeling enemies are going to respawn as soon as I go out there. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm like almost 100% sure that's going to happen. Uh, so, I'm going to do, I'm going to do this before I go there so that I don't forget because I forgot. Well, I didn't forget what episode I remembered at the very end. But it's best to have this at the very, st at like the, the top of the video. So people actually hear it. Um, but please remember to do your daily click. It's at the very top of the description. And then below, there are several links uh, for Palestine, Sudan, and Congo, like donation links, uh, boycott information, and um, information in general. There's a lot of stuff down there. Please do check it out. Uh, oh, um, I have a few things written down, but there's only really one thing that's like something I just say, like, oh, let's talk about this. So I'm just gonna. I've been saying dash. I've been calling uh, hyphens dashes pretty much the entire game so far. I don't know when I started, but it's wrong. It's incorrect. And I knew it was incorrect, but um, for some reason it just felt right when I was recording. And then I ha just had this like sudden realization while editing part eight uh, that I was using the wrong word. <laughs> it's great. Totally not embarrassing that I didn't realize until part eight, until editing part eight. But whatever. Fine. Doesn't really matter that much, but now I now I'm like, cor I've corrected myself, basically. So I I shouldn't be doing it anymore. Yeah. Okay, I have the hotline thing to watch, but I want to get to where I was, like right by the entrance to the maze or whatever it was. So I'll wait until I get there before I watch it again. Hold on, let me. Oh, wait, I have personal mod. Uh, health plus 28. Oh, no, it's... Oh, no, it's energy boost. Right. Oh, yeah, okay, it's marked. Good. So that I don't forget. Time to fight. Right, upstairs, it's upstairs, it's upstairs. But I wanna get rid of all the enemies first. Okay, that was it. Alright. Yeah, this entrance is upstairs. Dirty, dirty girl, won't you sing for me? Like I never Ashtray Mace. I'm averse to using objects of power. I don't oh. want to lean on things I ultimately can't trust. That makes sense. But the ashtray and the cigarette, smoking there forever, have their uses. The ashtray maze they conjure is an impossibly changing labyrinth that no one but the binder and those the binder invites can ever pass through. Wait, but he, the he's smoking. Hid so is that like, is research. that the object of the power? The darling studies, the danger and the risk involved, call for every measure of security and protection I could bring to the table. The maze, hands down, is our strongest lock. I gave Darling and his chosen crew license to pass through the maze. 
Okay. I've started to think I should revoke that license. How come? So it's an impossible maze, so this is gonna be fun. Let's go. Oh, wrong. Oh, okay, wait, I'm actually so excited. What? What is this? I feel like I was gonna say right when the video started because I saw ashtray read out loud ashtray maze. I feel like I've heard stuff about this, but I'm not 100% sure. Like, is there singing in this section or something? Something like that, I feel like I've heard. Hold on. Aw, oh, damn. Damn, that sucks. Okay. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's just like a graphical thing. Things like disappear like that. Ew. I I don't like that sound actually, so What's this? I don't like I, I, the sound makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Wait, is this just back at the start again? Have start running. Oh. Damage boost. Let's see that. Did I have one? Fifteen percent. Forty-three percent. Oh, that's that's a lot better. Thank you. That's great. Okay. Why is that crooked? I'm like, that's crooked. Doesn't feel right. In fact, it feels wrong. I don't like that. That that feels wrong. Like it it doesn't feel right. I don't like that at all. This is not right. Like, this feels extra creepy because, like, I just woke up. I don't know. Oh, look, this is down on the ground. I don't like that. Mm mm.
food. Okay. <laughs> Sorry not to say much, I don't know what to say really. I'm just kinda like creeped out. <laughs> I said that in a very Canadian way. Alright, I got a reward for my spend thing. I must have forgotten about that. Um I genuinely, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Is this like a case of I'm not supposed to be here yet? Or... Wait, the blinking lights? Hold on. Like, that one is blinking. Does that mean it wants me to go here? Or is it like... Let me just look at the lights. Might not be possible yet. I'll just have to continue. What the hell? What is communications department? Eh. No. Sorry, what more had I written down? There's a all right, use the elevator by the control room to go to Black Rock Quarry because I realized I never tried that. And it might take me somewhere I've already been, but I wanna try that because I never did. And to check where specifically maintenance sector goes in the sector elevator, because I never tried that either. Intrusive pattern. I've, I've probably already got that one. to the other ones there were I thought there were two more alive <laughs> are we what the hell What is going on? Why are they just like continuously spawning? Isn't this weird? I was gonna say maybe um because he mentioned um Darling being able to walk in the maze. 
there'll be something in this office. Do you always need to wear them? Wait, maybe this helps with the maze. It's like, wait, that maybe th that this thing could actually be a thing. Executive kill boost. Hold on. Damage after kills plus forty percent. check if that has anything to do with it and if it doesn't then I'll just do what I said I was gonna do could that be stopping me because I'm not allowed to go into the maze I'm gonna just walk straight off the edge <laughs> again. I need to move forward first because I want to find a control point down here because there is none yet. Mm, right, it's there, right? So th was there nothing left below? They're going to respawn. Like, there's this, right? Is that all? Did I look at everything else down here? It hasn't been, like... It's been a normal, like... Uh, it's only been two days, which is what it's supposed to be like, because I record every other day. Um, so, like, everything is pretty clear in my mind, but I haven't fully woken up yet. It's a problem. Alright, I didn't go there, but I think I did go in here. Yeah. But it's time to... I haven't gone down here. Okay. Oh, lab. One. Wait, are these Dr. Darling's labs? say anything no it does acoustic research okay okay uh, night the world is mine with nobody else out here it's time run wild this looks like lyrics these look like lyrics okay 
no, I'm not going to. Because <laughs> I can't, uh, I can't come up with anything, okay? I can't, I'm not going to be able to come up with a melody that it doesn't get annoying after two seconds. Um, it's time, run wild and royally, cavalier, to burn, ignite, I do it for so much less. When all is made clear, there's nothing else. And here we stand, the sweet, arresting duality. And I come to, it's, it's red, it's, it's some, it's resin all over me, I think. <laughs> Sorry, I can't read that. Uh, will, will I awake? Will I get a ride with you in this race of two, where an endless dream of choices, where the softest murmur of voices, without names, were fantasizing, dancing like flames, mesmerizing, my dark disquiet playing such eerie harmonies, making waves and diving under, lighting Lighting to the sound of thunder, my dark disquiet singing such haunting memories, so white, so still, so bright, it's almost too painful now. I'm ready to fight, to run from the light, and here now comes the sweet, corrupting reality. While now I'm free, will I once, will I once cease to be? Will I awake? Will I get a ride with you? In this race of two, we are momentary masters. We are false kings and bastards. Without names, we're fantasizing. We are marionettes by strings animated, yet like lovers of strings liberated. Without names, we're fantasizing. Brothers by blood separated. Huh. Marionettes animated. Lovers of strings liberated. Well, whatever that means. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like, that's hard. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, song questionnaire. Uh, auditory experience, 84.C. Poets of the Fall, My Dark Disquiet. Oh. It's a Poets of the Fall song. Which Poets of the Fall is the real name of uh, uh, Kings of Asgard. Is that what it, the band is called in Alan Wake? I think it's Kings of Asgard. Uh, but that's the real but yeah, puts of all my dark disquiet. Answer questions within two minutes of listening. One, did the song elicit any particular memories? If so, elaborate. Did you at any point feel a strong emotion? If so, what emotion? Did a clear image of a weapon appear at your mind during the song? If so, elaborate. Provide a detailed description of your current surroundings as you see them. Have you ever heard the murmur of voices when no one is present? If so, what did they say? Do you hear them now? Please choose one from each of the following pairs. One or two. A or B, day or night, apple or orange, burn out or fade away. Okay. Right, 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 right. Oh. Hold on. Um. Okay. Oh, here we are.
Yeah, arrest him, okay. Sorry, this is just really good. That was so fucking good. What the hell? I could, I could, I, I couldn't rip myself away. That was so fucking good. <laughs> wow. I love that. That's going on my playlist. That was so fucking good. What are you like? Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, let me. It was, it was added here. I was just checking because there was like a video or something attached. Um, song questionnaire here. Does the song elicit any particular memories? No. Did, well, I'll make two. 
Did you at any point feel strong emotion? If so, what emotion? I don't know, I guess joy. I guess I just love this song. <laughs> Clear image of a weapon appear at your mind during the song? No. Uh, provide a detailed description of your current surroundings as you see them. Um, my white desk, which has like a, a big drawer on the left side, which stretched across, stretched across uh, like, I'd say 80% of the desk, or no more like 70% of the desk. And it is like out halfway, because inside of it, I have a I have Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the board game, Friends and Enemies. I have that box, um, like it, towards the middle, to, where I placed my microphone on top of it. Um, so that it can be right in front of me. And I am using a Buffy the Vampire Slayer uh, Season 8. Uh, it's like the library edition, Volume 1. Uh, so for here, right below the camera, because my camera stand thing is attached to it. Because my desk is too thick. And... I can't, I can't go in more detail. It's gonna, I, it's gonna take forever. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of it. <laughs> Have you ever heard the n murmur of voices when no one is present? No. Well, I mean, I, I th thought I've heard like people talking and stuff, but nothing like, it's like kind of vague, like in the distance, which is like nothing. It's just like thinking something sounds like someone saying something. Um, please choose one from each of the following pairs. One or two. Two. A or B. A. Dear night. Night. Apple or orange. Apple. Burn out or fade away. Fade away because that reminds me of Never Fade Away f from uh, Cyberpunk 2077. So that was an instant, interesting little questionnaire to answer. <laughs> that was fun. I'm glad. I love that. I'm glad. Yes. That was lab one. What's lab two then? Oh wait, how long have I been recording? Oh Jesus. Okay. Is this gonna be yet another part where I don't get on with the main Ugh main story? Fuck, 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 fuck. Wait, I can only go into lab one. I didn't even realize. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, it's shatter. So. Oh, that is not shatter. This is shatter. Okay. Oh, this is the exact same. Okay. What I already have. Wait, is this a... Uh... Oh, yeah. Okay. Um... I'm scared. I'm just gonna move forward now. Because I also, I want to move, actually move forward this part. I'm so sorry that it's been like... How many parts without me actually doing this? Um, a lot of parts is the answer. Um, so where is the, um, oh, right, it's up here. Right there, okay. Wait, well, yeah, I promise now we're actually, I'm actually gonna, wait. Oh, okay. Just wanted to check, because I was like, 
confused about where that went, but yeah. Had to fight, I think. Arcanesiology. Oh, help. Marshall. She's in trouble. Okay. Astral exhibition her. and parapsychology. Huh? I didn't catch the last thing she said. I'm sorry. Hmm. Arcanesiology, astral ex exhibition, central research. Just, just the same as said there, but I just wanted to reread it. Hmm. Need to clear the cleanse the control point before doing that, I guess. Oh. oh. Okay. Parakinesiology. Jesus. I grabbed it. <laughs> My bad. Okay. I was not looking at my health that entire time. I have no idea if it got really bad or not. No clue. Could not tell you. But I survived so, so far, so I guess it's fine. <laughs> what the? Is that the guy from the, from the start? Is that the guy that we saw a flash of at the start? Is that Dylan? Probably not, or maybe, I don't know. Maybe it is, but we're not going to find out it is for a while. I don't know. Oh no, there's another one here, okay. No, but... Mm, I don't know. Emergency call supplement. Oh, okay, what was what was this then? A possible AWE in which an unnamed individual experienced tr transcorporeality via a phone line. Okay. Supplement um, ID AWE hyphen 18 <laughs> event date uh, June 17th 1993 uh, event location not applicable um, or not available uh, details transcript of a call to the California State Emergency Services nothing is nothing is uh, redacted dispatcher 911 what's your emergency hello Hello, I'm here. Can you hear me? I, I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? I'm um, inside the wires. I'm lost. Ma'am, have you been drinking tonight? I feel like I'm stretching through the wire towards you. Don't hang up. I might go if you hang up. But where, ma'am? Go. Gone. Away. Okay. And can you describe your surroundings? I love that I just changed the voice. Unknown voice. Uh, unknown noise, okay. Ma'am? Hello, ma'am? Note, dispatcher attempted to call the number back, but it was no longer in service. Ugh. I don't like that, that's scary. Stop. Hold on. Damage plus 23%. Hmm. <laughs> Wow. 
where are these enemies that are still alive? Oh, here, I guess. Why weren't you shooting me? You had so many opportunities, buddy. <laughs> Ugh, I don't like this. What are these globes? Astral exhibition. Jesus. Okay. <gasps> ah! Oh, control point. Oh, cool. The astral plane. Similar to an iceberg, what you see is not what you always get. This place is vitally important to the people. Totally. Most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. That was kind of weird. Hold on. As always with our darling stuff, we'll watch it twice. <laughs> Is it Astro Plane one? I guess, yeah. The Astro Plane. Similar to an iceberg, what you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the Astro Plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. Ooh, he's unraveling. That was, that, that one was weird. It's definitely the... The most like unconventional control point we've gotten but i'm cool with that let's finally get my reward here and okay thanks i guess my charge appears search okay fill his guards in the executive sector using spin kill his elevated oh yeah gravity slash destruction slash balloons do not apply king of pop them i can do that one Pierce, and I can make it. So, sure. I need to read it. <laughs> uh, let me read it then. Uh, Pierce is precise with a charged shot that penetrates armor and enemies at any range. Uh, no. No. There we go. Let's try it out. See how I feel. Hold on. Uh, what would I want to give it? Damage after kills. Oh, zoom. Because that's specific to peers. And then damage while aiming. Hmm. At any range. Let's just zoom. If it's like any range, and that's like a big thing. Wait, maybe I should do, um, in that case, maybe I should do the Pierce one. Wait, you can accept multiple? I didn't know that. <laughs> 
I didn't know that. I would have done that a long time ago then. I guess you can accept three at a time, because I can't accept anymore. Yeah. Or wait, no, I probably can't accept these because I don't have them yet. I have the weapons, but damn, I wish I knew that. <laughs> I would have done that a long time ago. That's much better, okay. Wait, kill his self. Oh, I read that one. Pierce maneuvers. Um, pierce slash spear slash puncture the invaders. Easy slash go slash PC. <laughs> Easy go PC. Um, kill his guards in the executive sector using spin. Specifics are not, specifics not found, you are approved for action. Okay. Ooh, scary. I guess this means you can shoot twice. Before you have to re recharge. Mm. Multiple hazards, no admittance for unauthorized persons. Mm. Astral Exhibition, okay. Compiled by Dr. Casper Darling, Head of Research by Order of... Not available. Uh, processes and Best Practices, Astral Plane Exhibition. Summary. The Astral Exhibition was originally built for the Astralnauts... <laughs> Astralnauts, okay. To use as a training location. A place to grow custom, accustomed to the sights and sounds of the Astral Plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but Redacted was being stingy with the budget. However, once we discovered the Redacted, we decided to repurpose the space. Uh, hmm. uh, I don't know what that would say. Control points? No, I don't know. Um, similar to how Sue's hope Familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals. We hope to observe, observe the redacted's behavior in an environment similar to its home dimension. Wait, it just has like a, a thing at the end there. So that means that it ends with an S, right? So what could that be? I don't know. Uh, behavior, uh, observe the redacted behavior in an environment similar to its home dimension. Home dimension. So far, it just... I just got the thought of Polaris, cause, but it's too... It's too long, the redacted bit. That can't be what it is. Um, so far, it just breaks everything we put in with it. But Rome wasn't built in a day. Yes, it was. Uh, refer to file 3 hyphen 19 hyphen 3811 for full report addendum new naming convention conventions have been established for the astral entity no now known as astral spike oh outdated terms in this report have been redacted astral spike what what did they call it originally hmm File these to Darling. What the hell? What the hell is that? I don't like that. What the hell is that? I don't like looking at this. I don't like looking at it. Oh. Another Darling video. The early hypothesis was that the narrator Dr. Cusper Darling okay. is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is, is that what that was? The material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Uh, apart from one shocking exception. Hmm? In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. 
we've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It Hello. ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. <laughs> Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. That one I actually need to rewatch, because what? Astro Spike, that is the Astro Spike, okay. An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place, not, not a construct of the mind. Okay, so not subjective. It is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Uh, apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain oh, literally says astral the astral spike. <laughs> hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to What if Polaris is the on. astral spike? Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Just a thought. Just mind thoughts and then rupturing out. I think it's possible that she is the astral spike, but I don't know if that is what it is, but I just wanted, I had to share the thought just in case. <laughs> Oh no, that's the astral spike. I can't believe they keep that thing here. That's the astral spike. Oh my god. I just open the door. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, um. there that I want to get. Uh, I'm scared. I mean, it's not going to take me far back, is the thing, because I just got a control point, which I forgot to, I wanted to use such a teleport. Hold on. How long have I been recording? Oh, okay. A little over an hour, so I should end soon when I get to the next, like, moment that feels good to stop. I'll end this part. So not yet. Oh, like, I want to... I really want to get that. <sighs> oh, wait. Do you still want to close the door or? I'm sorry, I'm too scared. I'm not going to go back in, even if there's other stuff that's good. Sorry. I'm not doing that. <gasps> oh! Shit! I don't wait, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here because I 
can I even attack it? Because is is it like is it this big button here that opened that? Because if so, why did I even press it in the first place? No, it isn't. Okay. Sorry, I'm like really scared of- I feel like it's gonna be insta death if you get hit by that. You know? It feels like insta death, right? Can I even get in here? I'm not sure I can. Oh no, it can. It can. It definitely can. Okay. Okay. Did it actually work? What, did me pressing that button or did, what, did I drop myself? I might have interrupted myself because I was scared. Yeah, definitely. Definitely dropped myself in the middle of doing that. <laughs> I'm probably being so overdramatic, but I just, I don't want to be, I don't want to die <laughs> in the game. Oh. What did I even do when I hit that button? I don't know. I have no idea. So like I, I get too scared. Ah! What happened? Does anything happen if I like? Wait, wait, wait. Am I supposed to um, lure it in here and lock it in here? Because... Oh, no, it's not closed. What the hell? I'm just realizing, uh, I don't think I'm going the right, no, I, I must be, because, no, because, oh, you see the, like, it's this way, there's, like, a stairs that go down, like, right in front of me, like, right there, it's through that, I just don't know how to open it, it's the only problem. Do I need to like close all the doors? Is that what it is? Oh, there's another one there! Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, I get it, I get it. I, I didn't see it. That was, that's the problem. I didn't see it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, it's because this thing freaks me out.
I'm guessing now I can actually press the button and it does something. Maybe? Um... Oh god, get away from me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, it's this one. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Sorry, I just, I do not know what I'm supposed to do. I'm so sorry. I should get this safe in the trading quarters, but I don't know if I can go there yet. I probably can, but I never returned after I got that mission. How do I open that one is the thing. Oh, that closed the big door. Like, when I hit it for the first time, it, like, opens... Like, obviously, there's no... It doesn't have any health, is the thing. It's like, I can't use that one. <laughs> um, okay, here it is. Oh yeah, it's like extremely close. I don't know what I was worrying about. But, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me just check those things I had written down because they're like fast things, probably. Except for the Black Rock Quarry thing. I'll save that one, but um, I want to check where the maintenance sector thing in the sector elevator goes because i've been to the maintenance sector but i just want to check because i'm curious and then next part i'll attempt this again and see if we can figure it out <laughs> well i'll probably first go to the try and do the training course and then do it That's probably what i'll do okay uh, okay let's start with um the sector elevator. so central executive Lights on. Blackout will be the end of us. That's yeah. That sure sounds bad. Like it would be bad. <laughs> Main sector. Let me see. Like it's that problem. Most definitely a place I've already like a a spot that I've already been to, but I just don't know. Like where exactly does it? Um. Oh. Oh yeah, right. Wait, isn't this right next to the training grounds? So I can see if it's open. It's not. Hmm.
Wait, wasn't there stuff over here that I hadn't um, checked yet? Or hadn't figured out what to do with? And here they respawn, obviously. Hold on, now I got like quite a bit of Jesus. Shit, dude. Uh -huh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What's this about? Oh yeah, I never went to deal with that because I didn't want to. <laughs> I'll deal with those when I actually feel like it. Because they're difficult and I, I I always like die right away. So it's like, I don't know. What's the point? <laughs> okay. Still cut off because, like, obviously, this is the place that I went to for the maze. So, I wonder if it changed anything. Oh god, that was close. And no, it didn't. Okay. At least I don't think so. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Makes sense. I also immediately die if I, if I like, if I dash right into um, air. <laughs> so that makes sense. Don't fight again. Yeah, I only have three. Turbine room. Oh, right, there wasn't anything else. Okay, we got, I feel like I have a feeling I'm not gonna make main story progress today either. So like in part 11 and 12. <sighs> I hope that's not the case, but um, honestly wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> It's not like it's not like it's a bad thing for me. Like I am enjoying myself, but I know that people can get annoyed when watching playthroughs when when it takes like too long to get to a part they really love and shit like that. So yeah, is it this way? I think it's like, did I, I might have missed it actually. Um, is it like back through here? Yeah, here. But I can run around on the lift. <gasps> I feel like 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 ninety percent of games, if you're in an elevator like this, you can't move. Hmm. Oh, the cleanup level five. So this is a different place that I haven't been to, but I need uh, cleanup level five. But what about down here? This level five. Okay. So, yeah, it is a place I haven't been to at all, so now I know that. Okay. Perfect. Now let's just return to, um, uh, where we were, um, through the use of control points to get there, and then on this part. I, 
Like, I hope I can get to the... I can find Marshall next part. Because <laughs> I, I really want to get more main story as well. Because one thing that is a bit tough, can be a bit tough with parts like this, is the thumbnail. <laughs> and the title. Um, so... I mean, I'm sure I'll have something fr from this part, but... It's always easier when there's like a bunch of main story stuff happening. Okay, actual exhibition. So yeah, we we didn't really. I feel like this is the least story stuff we've gotten in a part. <laughs> like we got um some uh, vi uh, some Doctor Darling videos and um, some reading materials, but. Did we get a single cutscene? I don't think so. I don't know, but um, I had fun regardless, and I'm I'm gonna try my best to progress next part in the main story. Um, so let's see if I can manage that, because I I genuinely do not know what to do with the astral spike, but I'll I'll figure it out. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed part eleven of Control. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Uh, Leave me a comment if you have any thoughts, questions, or observations, and subscribing if you want to see more of my videos. Yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.